If this was just all loose pages that just happened to be somewhere, it's the fact that they're together and they're chronological. It kind of does something. Sketch booths are cool, man. Someone should uh, get an award. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's something about just, well, talking and drawing is hard. I really enjoy my sketchbook now. Before it was just like uh, the thing I did studies in and uh, whatever, like it wasn't really a thing. But actually I'm at, I'm at a point now where I kind of feel like I want to maybe scan everything and just put out like a, a copy of them because I think they're actually maybe interesting now. It's uh, certainly a, a recent thing where I've kind of realized that there's a lot of enjoyment and uh, something more to be had from a sketchbook than just sketches. I got this just before I actually came traveling, so this has just been the book since all of the traveling this year. The one before I had for so long, it feels weird actually to have like a new one. Just because it took so long to fill the last one, that was my sketchbook. That book was just like the book. But uh, I just went about America because I needed to get out of my room a bit for three months and uh, went to San Francisco, I think you know about that. And a uh, bunch of other places just trying to sketch Oh, actually, where does that start? Oh, yeah. Actually, both of these paintings, there's like pretty good memories, which is pretty cool. Like, uh, but on this day, I, <laughs> I want to go paint that cool thing you told me about, like the big spiky thing. And I got there and I couldn't really see an angle. I liked, so I, was, I just, around the corner, there was like this purple building and it looked cool. So I was like, I'll just do that instead. And I sat there and the whole time there was this sketchy guy just walking around, kind of screaming <laughs> and he, I was there for a good like four or five hours and he was there before I left no before I got there and after I left he was still there just like making weird deals with everyone and getting real close sometimes it makes this painting more fun to me it's like oh yeah that's that sketchy guy day so I like having it <laughs> and uh, this day was out with Kel and Jet for anyone who knows and uh, we painted the exact same painting to compare and uh, it rained and actually gave like this cool like texture through it. Just on the subject of painting from life, as opposed to painting in your room where like nothing unexpected is really gonna happen. Like, mm -hmm. so the more of those I have, like I feel like these sketchbooks are more, sounds really cheesy, but like, you know, just like a journal, like a visual journal at this point. So the more of those I can have, the better. It just becomes a, a recording of me just through time. You know, every time you look at a drawing, you probably remember why or when you did it. And that's just a moment in your life where probably the other stuff was going on, you remember that. And in that way, I suppose it's a journal. <laughs> I think a writer could probably make you feel the same way. My skill is drawing, so it makes me feel that way more because that's where my interest lies, possibly. It's pretty crazy that we just put lines down on stuff and uh, those lines hold then memories and emotions. Like, I mean, it's kind of like a triangle and half a circle. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's that guy. Cool, like I liked him. <laughs> that's a pretty weird thing. Like for example here, like this is Mike as a video and he's holding a sketchbook and he's kind of like clutching it around like this. And uh, I made this mark and I just like, I'm like, oh yeah, he was doing that. I don't know, you can like take what you want more. I have a ton of memories, most which aren't attached to paintings, but I like having that extra level. It's like ex extra bonus. It's not like, sorry man, I don't have a painting. Don't remember. <laughs> I guess it's because if I draw or paint it, I have to really study what's going on. I don't know, it's strange because I've never really tried to discuss these things and I'm surprised myself how much I've been just talking about memories. I'm finding out myself right now what I, I think about sketches and paintings. At the start of this, I, I had lots more just like the studies and I'm in my room and there's the, less and less of this happens. It become more and more personal to things that happened. It becomes more of a sketchbook. <laughs> and I don't know why it, it took me or takes people time to do that. I guess maybe it's just because I'm leaving the house more. <laughs> Yeah, the drawings I do when I'm out and experiencing things, I'm much happier 
looking at those, I actually have a reason to look back at those. Yeah. Like these are just some, some life drawings and things that don't really add up to much. So yeah, there's like a you know, section in the middle of this sketchbook, which gets a little bit more interesting. And that's because I was doing more interesting things. And then I guess I go back in my room. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going through just like laughing just because there's just like so much stuff that happened. I'm like, oh yeah, that day. Ha -ha. Like I don't feel really anything about these, these drawings. And I don't know if, you know, what's the point of art? Like, is it to feel, because this doesn't mean anything in a bigger sense than just I was there and I was happy. But if that can come through in art, then maybe that's what people feel from artists that they like. It's just something more than just a drawing. These are just days of my life. I saw some Frank Tenney Johnsons in real life for the first time. I met Nathan Fox. I went through his sketchbooks. I went to Blizzard and had a great conversation actually with Matthias Verselt. My whole year is in this book, and uh, it's weird that you can do that, because there's not a, well, there's some words, but I haven't done anything other than put lines down in this book. But also, as attached as I get, I think, get attached to the, the memories, but maybe not the book, because actually one of my friends recently lost this a sketchbook, and he's an incredible drawer, and if, if I had lost that book, I'd be in tears, because I'm sure it was full of incredible drawings, which I've never seen. But, um, he was fine with it, and I think you have to be. You know when you have like just very vivid child memories for some reason, just like a snippet. I remember being <laughs> in a house. Um, I guess I was into Ninja Turtles because <laughs> there's this drawing of, is it Leonardo, the one with the blue headband? Yeah. He was a cool one with the two swords. And uh, <laughs> I did a drawing of him. I was like, I don't know, four or five because like it sucked. I remember even then like hey, it sucked, but I, I liked it. I really liked it. Just on a piece of paper and um, two like younger children of one of my mom's friends was there. And I left this table for like a minute tops. <laughs> and the youngest one I'd like just had a blast over it. And uh, I was like, real sad and angry, like, you're ruining my pages, like, I guess already, like, it was very precious. <laughs> but, cause, I mean, because I remember it still, that was like 16 years ago, 17 years ago, and I'm like, drill over my drawing, man, like, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> I'm just like really trying to like look at the perspective, because it's all crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's mainly what I'm paying attention to here. That's kind of crazy that you're drawing this right now. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be, see, this is gonna be a crazy memory. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty recent thing, but for some reason, like, I'm really loving, like, jamming on, like, the colored pencil. I'm not sure what it is, but, like, everyone's always talking about how cool pen is. You get the fear and, like, it's permanent, like, and I don't know, I mean, I get that. <laughs> I don't like it, but this is kind of permanent, too. Like, I can't really rub this out. For some reason, this doesn't bother me, and, uh, I feel it just kind of zazzes up the sketchbook too, just people are used to gray lines. You know, it's the fact like if you flip a face upside down, mm -hmm. people are like, well, I don't know, people might pay more attention for two seconds because it's like, what, well, it's blue. <laughs> it's blue, man. Like, Well, sometimes I do something and I don't like it and I want to cover it up. But then I decided, well, I mean, I could just like rub things out or whatever, but I thought it'd be cool if I just like kind of just build upon whatever's there. Mm -hmm. So like this was just some life drawings and I was like, that's boring. And this is a page in my sketchbook. So I just started messing with it, just experimenting, doing weird stuff with it, see if there's anything interesting. This one by accident just kind of came out all like textury abstract eventually. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Maybe in like 10 years I'll use that or something. And then that page is more interesting to me actually. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know, just this food. I'm like, cool. And there's texture too. And, I think they have their own interests somehow, even though they're like almost just black pages. Like if you just have page after page of just lines, just something to break up in between something more mass-based, mm -hmm. I think then the next page is more interesting to you, like, or you can pay more attention. I mean, I'm kind of talking now in the sense of a viewer, like if someone was to go through it, but do we need an audience? I mean, Andrew Wyeth like sat in a cabin for like 10 decades and didn't show anyone anything, really. I think some people somehow don't. I think 
for me, I, I do like having the idea of somebody might see it because, you know, you do anything, it's like, hey, check this out, and people are like, cool, and you're like, yeah, yeah. that's pretty much it. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a big thing about an audience, but I just feel like what we do is maybe like, mm -hmm. people like it, like we're doing something worthwhile, even if it's for you, just, if it's worthwhile enough just for a person, I don't know. I haven't thought enough about this subject to talk about it properly. <laughs> That's a huge question. Carla Ortiz asks the big questions. She's not afraid. Hmm. I'll just do a little thing. I'll just make something up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know some people just, like, they'll open the book to a page and just go, in this one, I just missed the first page because it was too much pressure. I like that it just starts on the second page with life drawings. It's just like, just, let's just ease in to this book. And also the ending, ending a sketchbook's weird. I, usually the last couple pages I, I leave, I just get to a point where it's too much and I just start another one. I remember the first sketchbook of when I started to take art seriously. It's like a big A4 thing and it's full of imaginative drawings. like. Girls with no clothes because I don't know how to design anything. And I was just trying to like make an arm <laughs> not look like a meat sausage. <laughs> but uh, my most recent sketchbook I remember having is from like maybe like four or five years ago. And I cared way less about what went down. If I look at those drawings, I guess I have memories, but only because like that was like when I was learning. Just at the moment, all my old sketchbooks, they're in a drawer and I have them chronologically. Sometimes I go in there, and sometimes it's funny. Recently, actually, I did a drawing, and it was the same girl I drew years ago. And I, I looked at the two, and I remember, like, the old one at the time, I thought it was, like, eh, it's pretty cool. But uh, I'd like to think the one now came out a lot better. And at that point, it's more just uh, documentation than, like, journal. But, uh, yeah, I just look back sometimes, just make sure I'm progressing. Because it'd be crazy, oh my god, it'd be scary to uh, go back to a book and be like, this is better. <laughs> I've gotten worse, way worse in the last two years. Whatever, I'm gonna just leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> it must, must be cool. <laughs>